On today's Child Seat Review segment, we're out here taking a look at the all new 2016 Toyota Prius. As usual, this is a Graco Classic Ride 50 child seat. It's a convertible seat suitable for forward or rearward facing installation and children between four and 50 pounds. The important thing to know about this seat is that it's very average in terms of overall size. And I'm especially talking about the width of the child seat. That's important since you will find much narrower and much wider child seats and the width of the child seat does impact the performance in the rear bench seat of most vehicles. As usual, let's start things off in the front seat. We are in the two eco model, so we don't have power seats of any description. I'm going to want to make sure that I have about an inch between my knees and the dashboard to be sure that I'm safe, but give the child seats in the back enough room. An important consideration is that this generation of the Prius has actually lost a little bit of rear legroom, so that makes this step even more important. With the front seat in that position, it is a little bit of a tight fit to put a rearward facing child seat at the proper angle in the back seat. If you could move the front seat up about an inch further or tilt the backrest up just a little bit further, it would be possible to install this at the proper and safe angle. Make sure that you have an inch to two inches of room between the front seat and the child seat itself, because in the event of an accident, the front seat can actually impact the child seat. Combined legroom is one of the areas where the Prius falls behind the average mid-sized sedan. I refer to the average mid-sized sedan here, not the average compact sedan, because in many ways the Prius attempts to compete more with something like a Camry or an Accord than something like a Corolla or a Honda Civic. The overall dimensions of the rear passenger area back here are very comfortable for adults because the Prius is a little bit more upright than the average mid-sized sedan. I definitely have a little bit more headroom in the outboard seats. The seating position is a little bit higher off the ground. However, legroom itself is not actually as large as you find in your average mid-sized sedan, and that really does affect child seat installation in this rear-facing position. The other area where the Prius differs from your average mid-sized sedan is overall vehicle width, and I was not able to fit this third child seat in the vehicle and close the door. Definitely couldn't do that safely with this width of child seat. If you found narrower seats, you might be able to do it, but it would be a pretty tight squeeze in the Prius. The reason for that, again, is that the Prius is actually smaller than a Toyota Corolla in terms of overall exterior dimensions. The reason the Prius feels more like a mid-sized sedan on the inside, however, for adults is because of its very upright posture and the fact that we don't need as much legroom when you're sitting in a more upright fashion, both in the front seats and in the rear seats. That really is the key to the Prius's practicality. The other practical area where the Prius excels in terms of overall practicality is its cargo area. And this is a cargo area very unlike your average mid-sized sedan. The former Prius already had a large trunk at 22 cubic feet. This trunk is between 25 and 27 cubic feet, depending on the version of the Prius that you get. If you get the Prius without the spare tire, then we actually get a little bit more cargo room in the back, like we're seeing in this 2 Eco. 27 or 25 cubic feet even is just about double what you find in your average mid-size sedan. Something like a regular Toyota Camry, not the hybrid model, that only has about 15 cubic feet of storage space in its trunk. That means you can very easily fit three child seats in the back and a wide variety of luggage. You'll just have a little bit of trouble fitting those three child seats across the rear bench seat. When it comes to overall child seat performance, the Prius falls somewhere between your average compact sedan and your average mid-size sedan in terms of actually accommodating them in the back seat. We have enough legroom in the back that a rearward facing child seat could easily fit behind someone that's perhaps 5'10 or so. I'm six feet tall, it didn't really work behind me. Because the Prius's overall width is a little bit more like a compact sedan than a mid-sized sedan, three child seats across the back didn't really work so well. On the flip side, however, if your kids are graduating into forward-facing child seats or child booster seats, they may find a little bit more headroom in the back, especially for taller people. As I'm sure many Prius-owning families can attest to, the real key to the Prius is its cargo capacity, because 25 cubic feet or 27 cubic feet of cargo capacity is extraordinarily large. That's actually more than you will find even in some compact crossovers out there. That means that for the average American family, it's pretty easy to carry two strollers, two child seats, and a wide variety of luggage in the back. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes. Be sure and subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you think about the Prius down there in the comments section below. And stay tuned because the full review on the 2016 Prius is coming up soon.